Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trent. Guys, I want to say a big old fat Merry Christmas to you lot, man. You lot have probably been stuffing your face with turkeys, drinking all types of crazy alcoholic beverages, and opening all types of crazy presents, man. So I want to say a big Merry Christmas to all of you and all of your families. I hope you lot cop some really cool stuff, and I hope you lot had a really great time as well, man. Truly do, okay? So, what it is, is a lot of you guys have been asking me, where should I be shopping on the old Boxing Day after Christmas? You won't know where to shop, what places I think are cool. And I've been doing a little bit of browsing myself, guys. I've been doing a little browsing online, and I've been looking to see what's good. And I've actually come across a few places, and I want to share, it, share those with you real quick, just so you can see the type of places that I've been shopping, because I've been coming across some good deals, man. Been coming across some good deals, okay? So I think I've got like 12 places that I'm going to share with you real quick. So let's get right into it, guys, okay? No messing around here. Let's get in. Let's get in straight away. Okay, so guys, the first place I'm going to show you guys, and you guys have seen this before. I've done it on a weekly buyers many a time. And I'm sure all of you guys know it, man. It is called Z and Cole, guys. Z and Cole. Jump over to Z and Cole. Um, I noticed that they were doing some really good sales in there. I saw some true religion bits. What, what I'm going to do, go straight to the sell section as always. And yeah, found some bits in here, man. I've been actually looking for some true religion. Um, I've been looking for some Stone Island jeans. I've been looking for trainers. I think I've been looking for the, the um, Adidas Hamburgs and the Adidas Gazelle. A lot of people have been asking me, can I get reviews? And... You don't know I love the Nike Max ones, man. I thought everyone's like, "Come on, bro, man, you gotta be copying other stuff, man." So I'm like, "Okay, what else is out there?" So I had a look at those um, Adidas Gazelles, and they look wicked, man. So I thought, you know what? Bam, definitely gotta get one of those. So I did. I did end up copying one in the end, which is all good. But yeah, Z and Co's got some really cool stuff going on, guys. So definitely worth a check out, man. Lots of bits and bobs on there that I noticed. So that's number one. Number two is. Kafka guys over at Kafka, Kafka clothing. I just think these guys are really good, man. They've always got some really cool bits. They've got some items which are a little bit unknown. Um, so yeah, they're on sale, guys. Definitely worth checking out. And uh, do you know what? I've just found out about this brand called SNS Herning, man. And their knits are absolutely amazing looking, guys. Seriously. Now, I looked on Kafka, these ones don't look too great here, but trust me, if you look, go out and Google SNS Herning and look at some of their knits, they look top quality, man. Definitely worth having a butcher's. Um, so, yeah, got some really cool brands here. Got APC, Barbour, Edwin, uh, Montclair's there, Stone Island. So, it's definitely worth jumping over to this, guys, and seeing what they're saying. Oh, they ain't got the Stone Island, man. Lied about that one. But they got loads of other ones, man. YMC's one I'm always talking about, which has got lots of really cool... Uh, jumpers and stuff so that's cool um so yeah definitely worth a check out is that one guys calf car really like them man got some really cool bits so the next one is nike guys nike um yeah nike are doing some really good stuff man and i went over to the store the other day i'm going to put a video when i went into the nike nike town store and the guy was trying to show me about the nike lab and um, he was even telling me there's a like nike lab um shop and it's like an underground shop in shoreditch which does all the secret Nike Lab stuff. They did a Stone Island Nike collaboration there. So I'm going to be jumping down there on a the street tours, going down Shoreditch. We're going to try and find this secret Nike Lab place, man. But jumped on the website and I was about to cop these trainers. Um, I didn't even cop them yet, actually. I need to cop them. Let me see if they're still there. That's what happens when you have too much alcohol at Christmas, man. You just forget. So, yes, yeah, this one, guys. Right, it's these trainers right here, guys. These are the trainers I wanted to show you, man. I'm actually going to buy these trainers right here. Nike Air Max 1 VT. Please still have my size. Have you got a 10? Yep, yeah, bam. Okay, so I'm going to be buying these, guys. Going to get those in. Going to be doing a review on those because these look absolutely mental. Look at these, man. Crazy shoe. Yep, definitely going to be getting that, so I will be popping back. But I know it's all types of discounts going on at Nike, so it's definitely worth checking it out. They had lots of trainers, lots of tracksuits and stuff. So yeah, obviously you guys know know about Nike, but I just thought I'd let you know because I was on there having a browse earlier on. So that's um, that's the third one, guys. The next one that we have is Urban Industry. Now, I showed these in my last video, man, but I was just over there today and I just thought, you know what? 
they had some really good sales going on over there man definitely worth a check out in my opinion so what I liked about these guys is they're doing 10% off your first order as well guys so if double check if it's on, if that's on sale as well I'm not sure but if that's on sale then that's a really that's a really good deal there but again I was kind of looking for trainers so I jumped over to here and I noticed that they had quite a few um, cool looking bits so let's just have a quick butchers and see what they've got knocking around Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's have a look at some Adidas Originals. Let's also try and see if we can't have a look at some Nike trainers as well. Um, so it's you, it's you lot that have really got me into the gazelles, man, and the, uh, and the hamburgs. So many of you have been like... I mean, look at that. These, that's a really good price, you know, 40 quid. But I'm actually looking for the red ones, man. But yeah, it's you guys that have been showing me about these, the hamburgs and the originals, because I wasn't really paying attention to these, but a couple of guys sent me some tra sent me some pictures, man. I saw there's a, one guy sent me a picture with all of his crew, and there's about five of them all wearing these gazelles. And I thought, you know what? These look all right, you know. So yeah, thanks, guys, for giving me the shout-out shout about those. I'm definitely going to try and cop the red ones, but I just can't find them anywhere. But yeah. Urban Industries did a lot of good stuff, so definitely worth checking those out, guys. They had lots of stuff on there. So the next one that's quite good was um, m and &M Direct. M&M &M Direct. They tend to do more cheaper stuff. I mean, I know they do Nike, they do Adidas, they do lots of sports brands, but they're meant to be more of a discount retailer. They, they say they do stuff up to 75% off. And I did... I did... Um, I did jump on there and I did see a few things that I liked so I thought it's definitely worth a cop for those of you who are just trying to not spend too much money definitely jump on over here and see what they're saying I mean they've got these kind of brands like Jack Jones who do kind of like more cheaper style clothing um, cross hatch I mean look £17 really can't really go wrong with stuff like that so yeah for those of you just looking for some real easy cops not spending too much money definitely worth jumping over to these guys um, I think I saw some night trainers or adidas trainers but they had all types of bits and bobs here guys i mean this adidas originals jacket has gone down to 149 from 300 so stuff like that is really really worth checking out um adidas original superstars down to 30 so you know there's a few hidden gems in here man definitely worth checking it out and seeing what they're saying okay so that's that one i think these are the ones that i thought were quite cool actually these adidas original vc 100 24 pound that's a good price, man. Still got a few sizes left. Well, disappearing now, but yeah. Jack Jones, 10 quid. Look, Converse, 26. Quite good, man. They've got some good stuff over there. So yeah, definitely worth checking over m and Direct, guys, to see what bits they've got, okay? The next one is Woodhouse Clothing. I don't know, most probably all of you guys know about Woodhouse Clothing. I was over there, on, I was over there earlier on today. I've been trying to look for some skinny fit or slim fit Stone Island jeans, but I couldn't find any man, and I was trying to pick some up in the cell, I didn't want to spend too much money, so I was looking for one, but didn't see any guys, so if any of you come across some slim fit skinny jeans Stone Islands for a good price, something like below, below 90 quid I'm looking to spend, then drop me a shout man, much appreciated, but yeah, Woodhouse seemed to have some cool things going on, um, I had a lot of Marstram, obviously, CP company, we saw some Stone Island up in there, have a quick browse at the CP and see what they got. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. CP company jackets are looking more and more ill every time I see them, man. I mean, look at this one right here. This is oh, this is fire here. This one here, four three seven down from six two five. This jacket right here is nice, really nice. And this one here I like as well. I might be getting these in early in the new year. Look at this one here. I might be getting these in early in the new year just to do like a um, uh, a try on video or a weekly buys video just to see what these items are saying man but yeah some of them are looking really cool definitely worth a, worth a cop a lot of people have been asking me about this CP company look gone down to 66 man tons of people have been asking me about that so yeah Woodha Woodhouse has got some good stuff going on guys definitely worth a check out as well so the next one that's up is Scott's menswear man Scott's menswear. I think I was looking for some um, tracksuit bottoms or some tracksuits. So 
I jumped over to Scotsman's wear because they usually do like lots of Nike tech stuff, lots of Adidas, Adidas original tracksuits, which are all good. So yeah, they seem to have some good stuff going on. Definitely worth um, checking those out as well. Scott's menswear. I was also looking for some Adidas Hamburgs or the um, Gazelles, but didn't find any, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, tracksuits, 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 hoodies, trainers. Let's see. Um, did I? I can't even remember if I bought. Did I buy something from here? I can't even remember, man. I bought some stuff. I can't even remember where I bought it from. But there was some Adidas um, tracksuit. Is it this one? No, it wasn't this one. But even these, look. Adidas originals down from 60 down to 40, 35. So that's good, man. That's a tracksuit. Full tracksuit for under a one-er. Um, which is quite decent. Uh, yeah, Scott's. Definitely worth jumping over today, guys, and seeing what, what they're saying. Just trying to see if there's any... Uh, can find any tracksuits. Here we go. Let's see what tracksuits they've got. So I know a lot of you like EA7. A lot of you like the old um, Franklin and Marshall. I'm a bit partial to the old Superdry myself, so I might even bounce over to Superdry and see what they're saying. But anyway, next one is Triads, guys. Triads clothing, very cool place to shop. I know a lot of you know about Triads. Um, I jumped over there, I was looking for some trainers and tracksuits, I was looking for some Stone Island. Um, let's see, they got some Canada Goose in, let's have a look at the sale. So I think I went over to the, what did I do, I bought some stuff here, sweatshirts, hoodies, oh man I can't even remember. Let's just jump over to hoodies anyway and see what they're saying. Yeah, man, these guys had some good bits and bobs on here. They had some good bits and bobs. I can't even remember what I purchased from them. I think it might have been a tracksuit. I can't remember. I purchased something, but I'll do the weekly buys video so you can see. I'll be, you know, I'll be doing a full review when it comes in anyway. But yeah, trials were really good. Definitely worth checking those out. There's lots of stuff on there, guys. Doing some really good sales on there. So next one was Adidas. Adidas had some really good sales going on. In fact, they were the cheapest place that I could find the gazelles that I was looking for. It's just unfortunate that um, the size I had was sold out, man. But they had some gazelles, I think they were for like 49 or 45 for the, these um, uh, red gazelles that I've been looking for everywhere. I've been looking manically online, couldn't find them. Um, but let me just see if I can show you in here. Right, so if I type in gazelle in the search field. Right, guys, so as I was said, I was looking for the gazelles. Um, these look really cool. Oh, they're kids. They look wicked. I like that Velcro on the front, man. That's old school right there. Um, yeah, so look, had some gazelles here down to 49. These tweed ones, but they sold out. Um, these women's ones are really cool. It'd be nice if they did a nine, but I'm not sure if they do. Um, those red ones must have sold out, you know. Ah, uh, here they are. These are the ones I want, guys. These are the ones I'm looking for, man. In a red gazelle indoor, 49 quid. They're the cheapest place I could find them, but they just sold out everywhere, man. I think they've only got like a seven left. Be wicked if they restocked and had a ten. Nope, still seven and seven. So anyway, guys, yep. Yeah, really feeling those trailers. Really want to get these in. Still searching, man. I could have got the blue ones, but I really had my heart set on, on the red. So that's that. But yeah, Adidas, lots of stuff going on on there, guys. Definitely worth a check out. So the next one is mainline menswear. We put them on an old video before. I think it might have been the last one. Uh, top 10 retailers you've never heard of. And I was looking for some Stone Island in here, but unfortunately I couldn't find some. I did actually find the gazelles here. I did find the Adidas gazelle indoors. The only problem was they were 52.50. Then the delivery was like 4.99. I was trying. I was being a bit tired. I didn't want to pay as much as that. I kind of set my budget for like 55. I'm just being silly, really. But I'm like, nah, man. I must be able to cop these for a little bit less. That delivery just put me off on that 4.99 delivery. I was just thinking, come on, man. So I was online trying to look for a voucher code to see if I can get them. 
to, to um, give me a free delivery. Couldn't find one, man, but yeah. The reason why I'm not too bothered about getting these or not, or not paying an extra three quid that I'm fussing over, is because I've got tons of trainers anyway, so I don't really need to get them. But they're really, really nice, man. I would like them, but they need to, they need to fix me up with the... Uh, Fix me up or hook me up with the um, free delivery, man. Then I'll definitely buy, man. Definitely buy. So that's that. Anyway, let, who else have we got? Let's have a butchers. So the next one, guys, is next one is Oi Poloi. I'm sure, a lot of you know about Oi Poloi. They've been going on for a long time now, man. These very, very well um, established independent retailer. They've just opened up a new store over in Soho when I go and do a um, Soho um, street vid I will be going down there having a look at the store definitely but yeah man they got lots of stuff on sale so it's definitely worth having a look wicked there we go Norse, Norse projects this looks really nice actually Nanamica a couple of people have been asking me about this Nanamica brand but yeah um, they do like Stone Island on here, they do lots of other different brands, they do limited edition Nike, I'm really beginning to feel this brand as well, it's called National Athletic Goods, they seem to do really really good quality um, um, knits, sorry, um, sweatshirts, which are quite cool, so definitely worth, worth looking at them, but yeah, all different types of brands on here guys, definitely worth having a look and seeing what these guys have got, because they do do some kind of good underground clothing. That one is Oi Poloi. So, next one is, I believe... Oh, this is a new one I found, actually. It's called Kong Online. And the reason why I like this one is because they had some... I think they had the gazelles for the for quite cheap. It's just that they sold out. And I thought, you know what? This place looked all right. So, Kong Online, man. Kong Online. Let me know if any of you guys have used these guys. I've checked them out. They seem to be legit. Uh, got lots of stuff on their site. So I thought, you know what, definitely worth having a look and seeing what these guys are saying. Um, let's have a look at the sale. So yeah, man, lots of stuff on there. See some Timberland there. A lot of you always ask me about Penfield. It's gone down to 99 from 185. Sure, I saw the Adidas, in, uh, the Gazelles in here. Adidas. Um, ah, that's it. I saw the Adidas Gazelles, but it didn't have my colour. They had it in the blue and black, which was very, it was a very decent price as well, actually. Let's have a quick look. Gazelle. The black ones are st hard still, man, so... Have they sold out? Look. Ah, oh, look. They so oh, yeah, they still got a 10. This is the cheapest I've seen it anywhere, man. 45. These are really nice, man. Really, really cool looking trainer, this one. Um, down from... Oh, no, the 10 sold out. Upset. Gone. Just the 8 left. Not surprised, man. At that price, that's pretty decent. But, yeah, look. Look at this hoodie. Here, 32 quid. All these hoodies, 32, 25. Look at that. These two alone, that's almost just over... That's 57 quid for a full tracksuit. Kong Online, man. Not too bad. Definitely worth having a look, guys. Check those out. So the next one is that I saw was uh, Brand Outlet, guys. Brand Outlet. I've done a weekly buys on this before. I believe this is where I got all the Marstrom stuff from when I done a Marstrom review many months ago now. I think that was back in July or something or August. Got all the masks on from here, but brand outlet guys, definitely jump over here. This is a bit of an undercover one. They've got lots of stuff on there, lots of really good deals. Definitely worth checking out. Just want to see what they got in. I can't remember what I browsed on earlier on when I was having a quick butchers. But yeah, they seem to have some cool bits on there, man. Um, this camo print is... This camo hoodie is cashmere as well. Oh, hey, this is nice, you know. i have to have a look at that later in more detail. Look at these camo um, printed cashmere. Um, do you know what? These are really nice. I might even have to buy that. Really like the look at that. That's what I'm saying, man. Look, down from 225. I went into this store the other day, Woolsey. 
Um, I done a video when I went in down um, when I was going back to Stone Island because I had to I had to return the that hoodie, you know the um, that blue hoodie with the sheepskin. I had to swap the size. So I done a video of me going down into Stone Island and I actually passed through that store, Woolsey. Um, Woolsey. Um, their quality looked really good, so definitely be checking it out. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, Brand Outlet, they had some shoes on there. They had H by Hudson. So it's definitely worth jumping over to see what they got, okay? So, guys, that's that, man. I hope that was helpful, man. I hope that's going to help you for the Boxing Day, um, give you some uh, kind of ideas on the type of places to cop. A lot of people have been asking me, oh, where, when's the best time to buy Stone Island and buy all these bits and bobs? And I personally think it's around this time right now, guys, especially looking for, like, shorts or trainers or colourful shirts for... Um, the summer season a lot of the summer stuff you should be copying it now cop it now put it in a box leave it in the box leave it in a bag and as soon as the summertime bam whip them out guys and you've got some nice fresh clothes and you haven't paid top dollar okay so that's that anyway guys i'll be um catching you guys in a bit i've got lots more coming i've still got that um night collaboration to do the night stone island I've got um street tours I haven't gone to Bista Village yet, it's been way too busy, but I am going to Selfridges tomorrow for the Boxing Day sales. I'm going to be doing a street tours video in the old Selfridges, place where I used to work back in the day. So I'm going to be very excited returning to Selfridges. It's been a bit of a while since I've been there, but I know Boxing Day is going to be really mad and lots and lots of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed all the information. Hope you enjoyed that. I will catch you in a bit, okay? Peace out.